There's even more news that we didn't get a chance to get to on our episode Orbit 10.36. Mike, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit more about this Deep Space Gateway? Yeah, um, as NASA is continuing to formulate the whole Deep Space Gateway proposal, they have signed an agreement with Roscosmos on Wednesday, September 27th, at the International Astronautical Congress in Adelaide, Australia, uh, to cooperate on the Deep Space Gateway and to uh, continue studies and formulating the ideas around it. And this whole joint statement reflects the common vision that both uh, NASA and Roscosmos share. Both both agencies, as well as other international space station partners, see the Gateway as a strategic component of human space exploration that would warrant additional study. NASA has already engaged industry partners in Gateway concept studies using the whole Next Step program, and Roscosmos and other space station partners are doing the same. Now, studies of the Gateway concept will provide more technical information and inform future decisions about what sort of collaborations they want to do. But we already know a little bit about what Russia wants to bring to the table. They've been developing an airlock that could be used as, well, rather, they want to use it with a follow-up to the, the ISS space station, but Russia would now rather contribute that airlock to the Deep Space Gateway. And beyond that, Russia has been working on their own next-generation crew vehicle, now called Federatsia, and they would also work on a lunar lander that would operate from the Deep Space Gateway, or at least some sort of lunar space station. Uh, Russia would like to go to the surface of the moon, but not just by themselves. They would like to bring their American, European, and Chinese counterparts along with them to the surface so that humanity can go back to the moon for, together. If you want to listen to some of the presentations that Igor Komarov, who is the current director of Roscosmos, have given, it's very inspirational and very much a we need to do this together type of thing. However, if all else fails, Russia has been developing their own concept of a lunar space station that would be able to enable their and China's lunar ambitions. The station would use the airlock as well as the node module and the science and power module that are going to be developed and sent to the International Space Station first as long as the NAUCO module ever fi finally gets launched to the International Space Station. But one way or another, I'm really excited to see cooperation in this field and I really want to see the Deep Space, Deep Space Gateway become a reality. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Mike. On Orbit 10.36, our main topic was actually Elon's keynote at IAC. And if you're interested in this or any other space topic, feel free to join us live every Saturday at 1800 UTC.